Hi everyone, Brett McRae here with your Farm and Ranch news from the Northern Ag Network. The latest edition of USDA's Kettle on Feed report found kettle placed into feedlots during the month of July 8% below last year's numbers. A trend that checks out for many analysts after surprisingly large and above year ago placements in May and June, which was puzzling for cattle markets. That's encouraging news for ranchers selling cattle with tight supplies, meaning the market for those calves continues to strengthen. At Superior Livestock's Bighorn Classic, held in Sheridan last week, we caught up with sales rep Rocky Forseth to talk about trends in the market. The fundamentals are historically low inventory, historically high demand. Um, so obviously those things drive a really, really nice market. Pretty much everybody is selling their cattle for more than they've ever sold them for. It's a, it's a fun, fun time to be involved in the beef business. Declining placements of cattle into feedlots was noted across nearly all regions of the country in USDA's report. Last week, the EPA announced its first ESA national regulation on a pesticide. The EPA has announced national restrictions on the widely used pesticide Malathion as part of an ongoing Endangered Species Act review of agricultural chemicals after the agency received a final biological opinion from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Malathion is used largely to control mosquitoes as well as aphids and other crop pests. The new labels now contain directions on how to apply the pesticide in compliance with the regulations from the agency. We'll be back in an hour with your markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back with more Ag News and your markets. There's been a lot of speculation from commentators and experts that the 2023 Farm Bill will be delayed. Last week, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said that Congress will deliver a Farm Bill, but not likely in September. McConnell is one of the highest ranking members of Congress to admit the timeline for a new Farm Bill is shifting past September. While the current bill runs out on September 30th, it looks like the new deadline for farm legislation will be December 31st. If the farm bill does get pushed to 2024, a one-year extension becomes like likely. As it's a presidential election year, both parties will battle for congressional control. Feeder cattle contracts launched higher Monday while gains for live cattle were more moderate thanks to concerns about cash cattle trade this week. Coal cows in St. Ange Friday, mostly between $1.05 and 115, bulls pretty firm around $1.30. The lighter feeder lambs seeing the most aggressive gains in Newell last week. 70 to 79 pound feeders up $10 from $227 to $235 per hundredweight. At the beginning of the week, wheat prices drifted lower during Monday's trading session, although headlines concerning the Black Sea conflict and destruction of grain facilities continue to have an influence on prices. Traders right now seem unconcerned about possible tight supplies in global wheat markets this year. That's all for your Ag Report. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.